And also in the news concerned, Christians and Muslims from southern Kaduna extraction have submitted a protest letter to the United Nations headquarters in Abuja, calling on the international community to compel both the federal and the Kaduna state government to stop the killings in southern Kaduna. The group, which also submitted letters to the United States Embassy, the British High Commission and the European of Union offices, also in the federal capital, said the crisis has left thousands displaced and in dire need of humanitarian aid. We have gathered to come to bring to the attention of the international community the insecurity, the killing, the spirit of violence in northern Nigeria in general, and especially in southern Kaduna in particular. We want their intervention uh, to make the state and the federal government act expeditiously to bring these killings to an end. We believe that there can never be peace without justice. So we want to call on the international community to prevail on the state and federal government to bring these killers to justice. We, we know that they are not spirits, they are human beings. So they can be found, they can be gotten, they can be brought to justice. This will act as a deterrent to whoever would want to cause such havoc or mayhem in the future. We are also seeking the help of the international committees to come to the aid of those that have been displaced by this crisis. Like I earlier said, most of our people are farmers. They can't go to their farm these days uh, because they are killed daily in their farms and they have even been displaced from their homes, their ancestral lands. So they are just sojourners now in their land. So we are calling on the international community to come to their aid with however way they can. We as the concerned Christians and Muslims of Nigeria, we are here to solicit for the support of the uh, international communities. We want them to come in to see how they can be able to assist us, to see how we can be able to stop the killings in the northern Nigeria and Nigeria as a whole. So we solicit, we ask for the support of the United Nations, the international communities, the American government, the British High Commission, the Canadian and uh, the European Union. So we ask for their support to come in to see how we can be able to stop the killings. The killers are human like us. So if there is any way we can forge ahead and go forward to see how we can be able to tackle this, they should please help us. If the government will take up their responsibility the right way and take the bull by the horn to stop this, it can be stopped. If security is put in place to fight and um, stop the terrorists, this will be stopped. We feel that the government are um, having a lackluster attitude towards the whole killings and our people are killed daily in huge numbers. It's very painful. I'm from Southern Kaduna and I'm, I'm a peace ambassador. I believe in peace if only the right authorities would do the right thing. So we're here to solicit with the international community to come to our aid to get their hands involved in this and solve it once and for all. I will submit this to the resident coordinator who is the highest ranking official of the United Nations in the country. Um, the contents of the petition will be reviewed um, and what I expect that an appropriate response will be provided. Uh, when you probably need to be aware that the resident coordinator has already been in touch with uh, some high-ranking officials in the government already about this issue. Um, the UN has already sent a mission to some of those places to establish what the issues are. So I suspect that uh, within the next couple of days, in response to your petition, you will get a response.